Now, typically one of the things that a lot of people do inside their homes now is home networking. Yep. All right. Now, in the past, we'd kind of have this vision of Microsoft that we want to see like one PC in every home, right? And really enable people with the computing power. The reality is people have multiple machines. You look at PCs and CPUs, you look at laptops, yeah. you look at netbooks. It's just emerging in an amazing amount of way. And we see now, you know, two, three, even five PCs in the home. Mm -hmm. The difficulty comes in today is how do you go ahead and network the PCs together? How do you go ahead and share files? Mm -hmm. Now, People have used things like USB drives to go ahead and make that sharing possible. But if you think about it, I have a PC that's got network capabilities. Mm -hmm. Why can't I go ahead and, and just get them to connect, right? And you know, you could argue that we had that capability in the past, right? But it wasn't easy. You know, you had to set up a share file and have to set permissions, and it was a horrible experience. So one of the things we actually have now in Windows 7 is a technology called Home Group. Mm -hmm. And Home Group is a, a consumer feature which enables you inside your home to set up ad hoc sharing. So what I'm going to do is actually take this machine and connect it to another machine we have here inside the, uh, the area here. So let's head over to this machine. And what I'm going to do here is basically establish a home group. So let's start this one off as the home group uh, point. And so I'm just going to jump into home group, mm -hmm. right? And it says here, we notice that there's no home group on your current network. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and create a home group. So I click on create home group and by default what it does, it says, okay, what do you want to share, right? So things like pictures, music, videos, printers. We actually don't have documents by default Why? because in a lot of situations, people have personal documents in there. It might be financial information or, you know, consumer yep. type stuff that they don't want to share with other people, right? It, it's important data. So we, we turn it off by default. So I've itemized what I want to go ahead and share. I go ahead and click next. Right, and so this is going ahead and actually setting up the home group on my environment. And so what it does is it sets up a password for me to remember. Right. Now, obviously trying to remember this password yeah. could be a bit complex. So what we can actually do is go ahead and actually change some of the settings and change the password. So just for the sake of our demonstration, we're going to change the password from that really complex password and just use the word password, well. right? Something very really simple. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is what we want to do for consumers, right? We want them to be able to go ahead and use things they'll remember. Okay. Right, so it might be something personal to you, it might be something personal to me, but other people may not know that. Mm -hmm. right? And so it's easy for me to go ahead and utilize this. So now I've actually got a home group set up, I can now go ahead and get another machine to connect to it. So if we go back to our machine okay. again, we'll actually be able to see how we can go ahead and do that connection. So now I go simply go back to the same machine, mm -hmm. I type in the word home group, right? And it says, it's noticed that the other machines actually created a home group. So I can go ahead now and join to that, okay. right? So if I go to join now, same prompt, what do you want to share? Because I'm going to share as well as the other machine. Click next. I'll type in the password, which is password. password. Click enter. And this is actually going to go ahead and connect up. So it says now we've actually joined the home group. Yep. So now if I go to the Windows Explorer, I can actually see down in the home group section here, there's demo two, which is the other machine. I can see the files I'm sharing out. You know, the music's there. How many PCs can you connect to a home group? Um, we haven't actually gone through and actually done a lot, but I mean, yeah. there's no no reason why you couldn't have five or six PCs sort of connected up there. I mean, obviously, it's not going to replace a commercial networking type yeah. infrastructure. It's more for that sort of ad hoc sharing. You can connect multiple PCs. Yeah. Yeah, at home, I've got a, a couple of PCs connected to my own home group. So it really takes into account, okay, in a, in a home environment, there could be a number of PCs there. So we sort of have it in a simple sort of networking fashion.